During the 12 days battle between Iran and Israel, some users reported that their smartphones were overheated. And there was a big concern that if the Israeli hackers hacked their phones. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mohammed, and today I will try to answer this question and I will explain the reason of overheating the smartphone in this kind of situations. The first scenario involved the GNSS module of smartphones. As you might know, the GPS signals are weak. They are much weaker than Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals. Almost 20 decibel below the thermal noise. Though they are weak, but since they are digital, the GNSS module is still able to detect and decode the data from them. To having a better understanding about the situation, we need to know that the countries in a war or conflict might deliberately transmit similar signals like the navigation signals to interfere the navigation systems to not be used by the other part of or the opposite part. So, what does it mean? It means that there are some techniques to make a conflict or make a disturb in the navigation systems. There are two main techniques that might be used by the countries. One of them is jamming and the second one is spoofing. But what are they, how they work, and how they affect our phones is something that we are going to look into that. As I mentioned, the first technique is jamming. In this technique, a powerful signal will be transmitted at the same frequency to overwhelm the GNSS module. And then the GNSS module might not be able to detect or decode the data and the signal. Or it's required to gain the signal to be able to detect and decode the data, which means it will sink more current and use and consume more power from the battery, which leads to overheating your phone. The second technique is spoofing. In this technique, a fake signal close to the real one will be transmitted and the GNSS module will take it as a real. It leads to having interfere in location calculation. So you will have a fake signal entered into the calculation process and then the result is not correct anymore. But there's an important point which we need to consider. The amount of power that the GNSS module will consume directly depends on the number of the satellite signals coming and detecting by the GNSS module. So having more signals, increasing the power consumptions. So that's a second reason as, as of no. So the first one is that if there is a noise, the amplifier will sink more power and more current. And it means that your phone will be overheating. And the second reason is that if there are some fake signals entering into the processing unit, your GNSS module needs more power and consume more power and sinking more current, which again leads to overheating your phone. So in war or conflict, if there are some interfere in GPS navigation system, it's clearly normal to having your phone overheated if your GPS module is on and you are using that for navigating. But there is another scenario which we can consider that some phones or many phones were hacked. To be honest, that's so complicated because we need to consider different aspects and different factors. And we need to see that what will be gained out of this scenario. For instance, I would consider that in 12 days battle, the internet connection was almost gone. Uh, or uh, at least we can say it was so restricted. So it was not possible that much to use a smartphone to send some data out of country. But of course we can consider 
uh, different scenarios, for instance, having some server inside of Iran to sending information to there. And then they were calculating and using in some other ways, which is possible. But this scenario is so complicated, needing, uh, I think, lots of supply chain. It needs lots of investment. Uh, if we consider to, I mean, uh, developing some malware for different kind of phones with different operating system, we'll end up in a situation that it's so pricey it needs lots of, I think, good developers and uh, development teams, uh, researchers and others. And uh, the point is, what's the outcome? What's the goal or mission in this scenario? Yeah, my, maybe so, some people could say, OK, they, they wanted to like um, sniffing, gathering information, having uh, image processing and others. Yeah, it's possible. Of course, if you are not using GPS module and also the cellular, the cellular network didn't have any problem, we, there should be a reason to having lots of power consumption if you didn't have that before. But considering that, the situation and having almost no internet connection on SIM cards, at least for some days, at least to that, to that we, we can conclude maybe, okay, the first scenario is m more likely that it was the case, not having lots of phones or at least some of them hacked because for any mission, for any scenarios, we need to have reasonable goals and mission. There should be feasible. And I think everyone think about the pros and cons and the investment. As of now, we have the first scenario, which is, uh, I think it's valid because we, it, it was reported that the navigation system was not working correctly. And people were, were seeing themselves on a map in wrong locations, maybe 100 miles or kilometers far from what they were living or maybe they were standing or sitting, whatever we can consider. Um, so yeah. I would consider the first scenario was valid and uh, maybe there was some phones that were hacked with some like uh, talented people, but for the overheated phones, which uh, were reported like broadly, I would consider that the first scenario was the more reasonable one. Thank you for watching. And if you liked the video, Please hit the like button and subscribe to receive notification for the next one. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.